Hi, baby. What you doing? Want some pineapple? Hmm? Oh, finally. We are past summer, and it was brutal. And this feels really good. I think I'm going to sit here and cool off. Eat me some pineapple. Reflect on this new day that God has given me. Woo! And give myself and my viewers vertigo as I sit in my little swing. And enjoy this cool temperature. Oh my God, we live in the South, y'all. And it is like... Lord have mercy, between it being like a 100 degrees and then add Honduran jungle humidity. Hey, my cat, my feet, well, ain't that a sight? I rub all your cat hair all over the place. Actually, when we bought the house, you know, this swing is, a, I think it's got a weight <laughs> weight bearing load on it. Makes a strange sound on my fat behind sits on it, huh? But anyway, when we bought the house, I never really cared, nor do I feel safe, despite having pew pews about every four feet because I'm married to the popo. And, um, well, he's not popo, he's a little bit higher rank, but he's still, I call him my gorilla. When he bought me this big old house, it was so funny because he gave me the keys. <laughs> And he said the strangest thing. I think it's an old country song about, will you be the queen of my double wide? And I'm like, um, can we go up to manufactured housing because a double wide? Nah, I left a single wide, not to go to a double wide, but to a big house. And this, this place is huge. It's so big. And with me living with chronic illness, it's all I can do to eat, drink, and keep my sanity. I'm kind of going through some stuff right now. And, uh, I'm going to be looking at another surgery. I've got another issue going on. And the cancer scare, they did remove the tumor, but the four months that I had to worry and stress, I wound up giving myself a ulcer and an ulcerated um, inflamed stomach. So eating, eating is kind of tough. What you say, Jojo? Oh, this is the neighbor. Oh. Hey, hey, it's okay, Freddy Cat. You can't see it, but the, the property next door was a piece of hot garbage when they pulled it in. And that makes my property value with a 2,500 square foot and all this acreage. And it's, it's a small community. It's just 11 homes. And although no one lives over there just yet, I pray to God we don't get trash next door. But you should, if you could have seen this dump, I pity the people. If they come over here and ask me about that house, I'm going to say, you might want to move on. And with the housing marking being the way it is, mm -mm. nope. Luckily, oh, let's try this swing one more time. Oh, Lord, have mercy. It's screaming, get off me, what? <laughs> what? Oh, they talk. Anyway, I don't even know where I'm at. Every time I try to vlog, I just get... My ADHD kicks in, and I'm like, what do I talk about? And, and keep it real at the same time. Hey, Oscar. Come here. Come here. People love you. He got 100 likes. And I'm like, that's so cool. Whoa, what do you see, boy? Get him. Nope. <laughs> that's a big nope. Hmm. Anyway, this is really good. Mmm. That is nothing like, mm. I don't have teeth, so I can't talk and chew at the same time, or I might strangle my full self. Mmm. This is so good, y'all. Mmm. Sadly, with my illness, I get these, like, I'm too old for menopause, so it can't be that, but I keep getting these weird, mmm, excuse me. I can't eat on camera. Not that anyway. <laughs> we'll just set it on the swing. But it, here I go again, forgetting. <laughs> I'm screwing this vlog up something fierce. But uh, we got we got a lot of veterans that live here. It's a it's a small community. There's 11 homes. 
Uh, next door is a um, army veteran. There's an army veteran here in this house. And across the street, we have a Marine. Well, down there in the cul-de-sac, we had a color, a person of color, if you will, go ape shit the first year we moved here. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm trying to blog. Now I get why people get annoyed when they're trying to make content and there's somebody with an irritating noise this early. That's right. <laughs> Be a redneck in the trailer park. I'm sorry, this is not a trailer park. This is a manufactured housing. And when this, <laughs> if you knew the price of this house, luckily, that's where I was at. Luckily, when the orange man, sorry, but we do support Trump. Poor man, he did all he could for us. He was so kind. You know, he gave me cost of living raises on my disability that I paid in. No taxpayers support me. That's my social security, you know. Um, but when we went in debt at 60 for 30 years, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to be here for a little while because I just really don't think I'm going to live that to 90 and appreciate a home. I'm not going to make it to 90, y'all. I'm just not. The sad part of living with chronic illness and disease, and that's what this blog is about. I'm just a person that lives with chronic illness and, Jesus Christ, many diseases. And see, I sleep during the day. Luckily, I was I was so exhausted from the gabapentin yesterday and the neuropathy. I went to bed. I got a whole five hours, and it was miserable. I kept waking up in pain. So if I was asleep right now and they're over there hammering and beating, I might be a bitch about it, but I can't say shit because I don't want to start trouble. It's not in my nature. Um, really wish this swing was automatic. Oh boy, he says. But anyway, so this is a $149,000 house. Can you believe that? And I've told my husband you need to make three payments, January, June, and December, because... <laughs> A mortgage at this age but this was a choice that we had to make because my little single wide that we lived in we kept having to replace floors when I got it from my father when he passed away it was a dump and we built it up and then because it wasn't set up initially proper it was just rotting out the floors it even rotted out the shower and we had to pay out the nose and, and my husband was getting tired um, it's been a little bit of stress in the marriage because when you are married to someone that is in a position of power and authority, sometimes he brings his ass home on his shoulders and I have to remind him, hey, um, could you leave, could you not treat me like one of your grab ass inmates? Hello? You know, you need, and, and police officers do the same thing and the, the rate of alcoholism in these people that have to go out there and do the good stuff, you know, fight the good fight because my husband's out there fighting the good fight, keeping people safe, this, that, and the third. But back to what I was saying about the house, luckily, it was it was 149 k but when Trump was gifting me, um, we got the house on a real good, it's, it's, it's worth it. Honestly, it's a beautiful home. I wish I was able to finish unpacking it, but some days I just can't do. And that's, that's hard as a woman. I've been a wife since I was 17 years old. And to fall down and lose your independence, it really sucks. But the thing about the house and the mortgage is my APR is 3%. And that's a steal because the market, the housing market now, like behind me, that house ain't going to sell no time soon. People want new homes. And that was the problem I had with next door. I'm like, you're going to bring that piece of crap over here where we all keep our homes and our yards nice and tidy. I'll have to do a front porch vlog one day, but... I'm in my wife beater and my drawers, so I can't be sitting on the porch looking like that because they'll be like, that woman's crazy and she never leaves her home. I'm like, that's right, because I'm old and I'm tired and I'm weary. All I got to count on is my bed and the Lord above who has blessed me with a beautiful day. 
I was lucky today with my semi paralysis. I was able to get up and make some food, which is sitting in there. But I got hot because when you take your insulin, my sugar was dropping real bad. Because when you have chronic illness and disease and you throw diabetes, and I can't sit here and tell you everything that's wrong, you would be, dear God, that woman died five years ago. Actually, you're talking to a ghost, probably, because I feel very dead, yet I'm still breathing. Oh, just have to pray harder, I guess, but it's hard, but I'm glad for the for this morning to hear the little birds singing. Gotta hang on the swing or if it goes, the earth will move, so you can blame the next tsunami on me. <laughs> but I love coming out here because it's just it's just beautiful and falls fixing to come and all those trees will be golden and then they'll be winter and they'll be dormant and then it'll look scratchy out here be like, uh. but because i stay so hot natured a funny story tmi um and as i'm dealing with illness it, it does make me very hot and it's not menopause hot flashes it's sickness and the nerve damage in my back will signal my body and it goes into rest and I start sweating so like in November it seems like every November <laughs> I have found myself coming out here in the winter and I have been out here oh semi-nude but in skimpy jammies when it's 40 degrees there's something about cold weather that I just love the crisp cool air compared to the brutal summer that we've had to endure I mean my god almighty well this is 12 minutes and I know I can't keep you but if you're watching this thanks for listening my world's small so I hop on the YouTube and collect all my hearts and all my comments thank you to anybody that is subscribed to me I can't believe that my generic PG um, content gets gets attention but oh my god i gotta tell you this last thing and then i'm gonna go but i had uh i was scrolling through the shorts and i <laughs> this is gonna sound damn like a hood rat but they kept showing this video game and it was pictures of ai females with nice little booties and they was walking and shake that ass for me shake that ass for me come on y'all and I was like, oh, that's bootylicious. Let's let's put it on my YouTube. Seven seconds. And YouTube said, that is age restricted. I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that because there's so many steps. I use the app on my cell phone. I don't have the high dollar camera or camera equipment to, you know, do all fancy content because when you're housebound, it is what it ain't. Good morning, group. Groot killed my ha my cactus, so I just like, I want you to sit here and think about what you've done. And when you can say you're sorry for killing my cactus, you can come back inside. Anyway, at the end of the day and at the start of every morning, it's all about this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.